All right, this video here is for shipping purposes, shipping semen. As you can see, I'm pulling Boss Man, one of our studs here. He's been working a lot this year. And it's actually not only shipping only, we're going to be doing a little experiment. So we collected about, hmm, about 10, 11 cc's. We, pull, we don't really pull that much, but since we're doing an experiment on the extenders we're going to be using, we pull quite a bit. So we fill the syringe up, and we leave a little, bit, little less, a little bit in the bag. And for testing purposes, as you can see, we like to test it before we start doing anything with it to make sure it's actually a good quality sample. Drop it on the, the slider. And yeah, he's moving pretty good. He has a good quality sample. He normally shoots a lot, so not too much worried about boss man. So since we're going to ship it, which you're not going to see on the next one, we split it into two vials because we're going to be using two different extenders. One a seven day to 10 day extender, the other one a 72 hour extender. So it's in two different vials right now. We put it in the centrifuge, spin it down, because we don't want any impurities in it. We really want just the semen, which you can see down at the bottom. That is the semen spent down towards the bottom. That is very concentrated semen there. We take out the impurities all the way down to the concentrated. Which is really not going to be that much at the end, but it's okay because we're going to extend it out into uh, the extender. And normally it'd be more than that, but we're doing two different samples here just for experiment purposes. Then we have the second vial here. And we're going to do the same thing that we did to the first one. We'll get it down as far as possible. Take out as much as we can. And there we go. So that's just concentrated semen. We're going to open up a new syringe, new pipette. Then we're going to take out the concentrated part. Well, since it's spent down, it's not going to be much. So it's basically about eight cc's dropped down into one. And then we're going to take our seven to 10 day extender here. The canine plus chill long term. It's a good product. But we're going to be testing it out this go around. This is video one. So it's going to be a part two. So we basically four to one, which it wasn't even a half a cc. So I only put about three cc's to two cc's into the, um, the concentrated semen. And then we're going to check it once we um, get it mixed in. And once again, we did warm the extender up to match the same temperature as the semen and as you can see yeah it's still swimming it's still moving good it did shock the semen Less, yeah as you see it's still active very active it's good to have good quality semen for this so this is vial one the canine plus long term extender and we're gonna drop it in so it's about it's gonna end up to be about like two three cc's which is very good for surgical purposes that's all you really need and you can also ai with this too so because it's concentrated slip it in 
make sure it's nice and snug. We're gonna get the other valve. Do the same process over, get a whole new pipette, new syringe. We don't wanna mix the extenders since we did pull out of the bottle. Get our concentrated semen. Once again, it's not gonna be very much because we did spin it down, take all the impurities out of it. It's probably gonna be another half a cc, which is way more than enough because it's concentrated, it's dropped down. So the semen, I would even say it triples. Then we're going to use the other extender. What is the 72 hour extender? And I'll show you that product here in a minute. You'll see both. We're going to add a little more than last time. This is only 72 hours. So I try to add just a tad bit more. And Here's the warmer here that we make sure the extender is to the right degrees and it doesn't shock the semen. Very important part. You don't want to shock the semen because it will kill it immediately and it will not last through transport. That is the biggest reason why people end up with dead semen and a dead sample once it arrives, it's not really the transport. It is the process of putting it together. And here you go. We're going to test this one too also to make sure it's moving. It's mobile. We didn't shock it. It's going to be good through transport and all the good stuff. And as you can see, millions and billions from one drop of semen. Is most definitely concentrated. If you look back in the beginning of the video, it wasn't this many swimmers off of one drop, but we did spin it down and it is more concentrated. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this into the vial. Screw the top on, put it in his sleeve. Drop that in there, make sure it's nice and snug. And then here is the product that we use for the 72 hour extender. And the seven to 10 day extender. Like I said, this is a experiment. So this is not getting shipped anywhere. This is, will be staying with me with the ice pack Secure it with the ice pack. Make sure the top is on. Okay, we're going to make sure this package is nice and sealed. And then we're going to put it up in the corner. We're probably going to go three days with it sealed. And then we're going to come back and revisit it. Stay tuned for the second video.